And there you go. I am live. I'm back. And Bob Ross, welcome, welcome. You're the first one here. What's going on with Hawk Mode? You just beat Hawk Mode and Tyler James. But they've been, been, they've been with me since like uh, the first time I live stream today at 5 o'clock. So let's see. Hi there, Sauce. Nice to see you. <laughs> um okay let's wait a little bit more and see who's gonna be here so anyway guys um don't forget today is friday so it's audience participation so i will appreciate if you will participate and we're gonna have some fun but we've got to wait for everybody else oh hi there tyler james tyler james is here now so we have three people already. Let's see if there will be some more because, again, like I said, this is audience participation and I have some questions for you, which you may or may not answer, but I hope you would. Um, let's see. I'm waiting for who else might be here. I'm waiting for Hulk Mode, Chester, Benji might be here sometimes. Oh, yeah, except Fridays. I think Benji's not available on Fridays. And who else? Who else? Mm -hmm. So what's going on with everybody? How is everybody doing today? Um, hmm. Why is it saying one on my dashboard here? Oh, by the way, Tyler, um, I was reading the comments from yesterday's live stream about my life in the Philippines. And you were asking, if I remember right, you were asking how um, the, the weight of my son, how, how many pounds uh, was he when he was born? He was, he, he was 4.2 pounds when he came out, when I gave birth to him. <laughs> He was 4.2 pounds. And there was another question that uh, I can't remember. But uh, anyway, I'll, I'll look into those again and see if there's anything else that I need to answer. Uh, Hulk Mode. Hey, I'm back. I was drinking the H2O. Well, you need it, Hulk Mode, after all those... Uh, <laughs> I don't know what you call those words. <laughs> OMG, Miss Helen, BT. BT, what is BT? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not familiar with uh, some of the words. I have to look up in the dictionary. <laughs> there, I think there were like, oh, it like itty bitty, itty bitty. Okay, tiny, why tiny? Oh, the my baby, 4.2, yeah, 4.2 pounds. Uh, he was actually, um, when I gave birth to him, the other one, the other lady next to me was actually, she had a smaller baby because she was hiding her pregnancy. She didn't want her parents to know. So she was wearing denim jeans even uh, during the time that she was going to give birth. And uh, I remember I saw the doctor shaking their heads because she was in her jeans and she was about to give birth. And when the baby came out, the baby was half the size of my son. It was only 2.1 pounds, 2.1. And um, we were there together for the next two weeks because it was also a premature baby. And he earned the title, the Adidas baby. I don't know why, because I think um, there was one time the parents came to, to visit the parents of the, of the woman who gave birth. And they have this small, small uh, box for uh, small shoes, you know, small shoes. And the brand was Adidas. And then when they looked at the box of the shoe, the baby could actually fit in the, in the box. So they called him the Adidas baby. You could hold the baby in one hand like this, 2.1 pounds. I remember she was with me when I gave birth. <laughs> Adidas baby, I will never forget. The mom would carry the baby in one hand. <laughs> anyway, I am excreting water from my body in the form of sweat. Good job, Hulk Mode. Good, that's good. So uh, we are going to go ahead and start our um, 
statements here so that I would have time to relax a little bit before I go back to Jalidi's channel. Because after I do this also in Jalidi's channel, I will also have this um, Discord uh, live stream where, where I will just be asking Jalidi's uh, subscribers to join the Discord and make it active again. I was just so frustrated with Discord because every time I make uh, a link, I make a permanent link, it usually would be invalid for a certain period of time. So I was thinking, why would they say it's a permanent link and then after some time, it's it's invalid already. So I don't understand that. That's one of the things that's frustrating me about Discord. But then, anyway, I'll just um, start all over again. And tonight, I will be inviting Janidee's um, subscribers to join the Discord. Okay, so what we're going to do right now is we will do the TGIF. <laughs> We'll have some fun and we'll ask you some questions and I want to read your answers. So please participate. Okie dokie. Here is the first one. You're walking out of a grocery store. You're walking out of a grocery store. You saw a small wallet by the door just outside the, the store. What will you do? You're walking out of a grocery store and you saw a small wallet or a purse by the door just outside the store. What will you do? Let's see. So I will be waiting for at least four answers here from Bob Ross, Sauce, Tyler James, and Hulk Mode. You're walking out of a grocery store and then you saw a small wallet or a purse by the door, just outside the door. What will you do? Let's see. Let's see. I would pick it up. It's obvious that it's my destiny. So you'll pick it up and take it with you. Okay. So there you go. That's half mode's answer. What about Tyler? Turn it in because it sucks to have to replace your ID and cards. Good job, Tyler James. <laughs> I'm glad you remember the people who lost it. <laughs> yep, it's really hard to get new cards, new driver's license. The credit cards, it would be easy and it's free, but the driver's license costs, uh, you know, it is expensive here in Florida. I think it's like $30 to have it replaced. From half mode, they should be punished for losing it. <laughs> okay, so that next time they won't lose it anymore. They'll be more careful. That's okay, half mode. Good answer. What about Bob Ross and Sauce? Let's see if they would have any answer to that. You were walking out of a grocery store, then you saw a small wallet or a, port, uh, or a purse by the door and just outside the store. What will you do? Dun, 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 dun. Let's see if Sauce has an answer or Bob Ross. Anyway, I will go to the next question just in case they're still typing. I'm going to read it later. The next one, Half Mode and Tyler. You've been sick and tired of your job. You've been sick and tired of your job. You just got accepted for a new job and are now collecting all your things from your locker. You met your supervisor on your way out. You will tell your supervisor that, that, that. <laughs> you have been sick and tired of your job. You just got accepted for a new job and are now collecting all your things or all your belongings from your locker. Then you met your supervisor on your way out. You will tell your supervisor, black. Um, from Hulk Mode, if the ID is found in it, in the death penalty should be used because they already have their name and addresses. So, yep, you would know their names and address. OMG Hulk. 
Exactly, Tyler James. O M G. <laughs> F off, you are spooky. Oh my gosh, out mode. You need to. You need to rinse your mouth with holy water. You need to rinse your mouth with holy water. Nothing, just smirk. Good answer. It's like, whatever. I'm leaving. <laughs> That's a good one, Tyler James. What about Hulk mode? Or Bob Ross? Or sauce? I use holy water as mouthwash and I still wear like, swear like, <laughs> you still swear like F. Yep, I, I, I think you do, Hulk mode. Hi, there's no gaming. If I did it again. <laughs> GP, Hulk mode, GP. Let's see, any answer? You've been sick and tired of your job. You just got accepted for a new job and are now collecting all your things or your belongings from your locker. You met your supervisor on your way out. You will tell your supervisor. Oh, I like your profile uh, picture, Snow Gaming. I would probably tell my supervisor, I don't know what I will tell my supervisor if I've been sick and tired of my job. I would probably say, uh, nice to be out of here. <laughs> or I'm glad my agony is over. Or <laughs> I don't know. What would I tell the supervisor? I'm like, bye. A sarcastic bye probably. probably. Think you know, like Tyler James, just smirk. <laughs> Okie dokes, any more answer? I don't think we have any more answer. The next one, the faucet. The faucet from your kitchen sink broke in the middle of the night while you were using it. Water was continuously flowing. You will, what are you going to do? The faucet from your kitchen sink broke in the middle of the night while you were using it. Water was continuously flowing. You will dot, dot, dot. Let's see what you're going to do. I don't think I could sleep if, if the faucet is, I mean, if the water is uh, running the whole time. And of course, you can call a plumber in the middle of the night. So, the tap broke in the middle of the night whilst we were using it. Water was continuously flowing for us Brits. <laughs> Is that a usual uh, incident, Hulk mode? What do you usually do? Miss Helen, that's silly. I'd fix it right away. Oh, I forgot. Tyler is a, uh, a jack-of-all-trades like me. Um, so Tyler would fix it. Very good. Uh, I stick up a tape on it. Sometimes it may not be enough. <laughs> I'm a plumber from Tyler James. Maybe we'll just call Ty Tyler James to come to the house. But yeah, I don't think I could uh, sleep knowing that uh, the water is running the whole night. So I would probably turn off the main valve. I would turn off the main valve. <laughs> I think that would be my answer. I just phoned the council, <laughs> but it's in the middle of the night, Hulk mode. You can't call them. So you got to do it on your own. Next one. You submitted a beautiful po uh, you submitted a beautiful poster to your teacher, a project, a beautiful poster. You believed that you really did a great job. Your teacher gave you a C for it. You will tell your teacher, dun, 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 dun. what are you gonna tell your teacher? You submitted a beautiful poster to your teacher. You believed that you really did a great job, but your teacher gave you a C for it. So you will tell your teacher that, that, that. 
I'm here, Beat Lake, Bob Ross. Oh, happy birthday, Bob Ross. I'm going to sing you a song just before I finish this live stream. Um, so any answer? You submitted a beautiful poster to your teacher. You believe that you really did a great job. Your teacher gave you a letter C or a grade of C for it. So you will tell your teacher... Hey, you, you both give me an A plus, please. Okay, Tyler James, nothing. I'd cry about it alone. Oh, so Tyler is the type who will just say nothing and just leave it alone. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. But not for me. I think I will tell the teacher what's wrong with my project. I mean, what did you find? The, um, is there something missing? I mean, why would you give me a C? It's a good project. I think I would tell the teacher that I would tell it straight to her face. I'm not gonna, no, I'm gonna have to argue with, with my teacher. <laughs> Murder is always the answer. Oh my gosh. So Chester, I think you would just give your teacher a glass of, uh, um uh, soft drinks with uh some poison in it <laughs> you're just gonna murder your teacher okay cyanide yeah so no but you know what if you put cyanide you can taste it so it's gotta be something better <laughs> arsenic from bob ross i'd rather believe it might have been a mistake than to be confirmed that i'm dumb <laughs> So Tyler, you, 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 if you think it must be a mistake, then you should confront your teacher. Hello? <laughs> I would tell my teacher, hello? What's wrong with my project? <laughs> okay, the next one. It was your first date with your crush. It was your first date with your crush. You think that he or she was intentionally annoying you. And she was enjoying it, or he was enjoying it. So you will say, what are you going to tell your crush? It was your first date with your crush. You think that he or she was intentionally annoying you and enjoying it. You will tell your date, who is your crush, that, that, that. What are you going to say? Uh, I'd say, how... STFU. <laughs> so it's going to be Hawk. Oh my gosh. So Hawk STFU. <laughs> Hello there. Hi, Sauce. Thanks for uh, being back here. Uh, you're going to shut your trap. Yeah, cow. <laughs> F off from Hawk mode. How about Tyler James? your first date with your crush and you think that he's intentionally annoying you and you see that he's enjoying it. So what are you going to say besides F off? <laughs> Nothing. But then again, why would I date? <laughs> oh my gosh, Tyler. Yep. Just don't date. Don't date. Be like me. Forget about it. <laughs> you can be on your own. Be happy on your own. Next one. <laughs> you were asked to create a beautiful video about anything that will be featured in your favorite news channel. What will your video be about? You were asked to create a beautiful video about anything that will be featured in your favorite news channel. What will your video be about? Chester Spin and Nips. Oh my gosh, it's your favorite news channel. What will your video be about? Mental health for youngsters. Nice one, Tyra. I will make a shitty video. Really, sauce? 
it's your favorite channel and you have the chance to create a video and you're going to make a shitty video. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> Okie dokie. How about Hawk Mode or Chester? Let's see. And Bob Ross. Top 47 reasons why urinating. <laughs> why urinating in the sink is better. <laughs> My God, top 47 reasons? I would be in, interested if it's just the top seven reasons. Top 47? No way, Chester. That's too much. My dad's growing job as an Avon salesman. Oh, okay. Nice to know that. Oh, you love shitty videos, really. <laughs> Uh, from Bob Ross, I think that's a, that's a good one because you can promote your dad's uh, your dad's uh, work. So good, that's a good one. Any other video? <laughs> yeah, I think it's a good one, Tyler. You know, take the opportunity. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity. <laughs> Maybe Tyler's just laughing because he's like, your dad? Are you sure it's not your mom? <laughs> okay, anyway, the next one. Peeing in the sink helps clean. Uh, ew, ew, hog mode. The next one. Your best friend asked you what you would like for your birthday gift. Your best friend asked you what you would like for your birthday gift. You will say, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Your best friend asked you what you would like for your birthday gift. You will say, Oh my gosh, what will I say? Uh, for me, I think um, I would like a new computer. <laughs> can you afford that? <laughs> I don't think my best friend can give me a new computer. Um, I don't judge Bob <laughs> from Tyler. It also saves water as you can rinse it away as you wash your hands. Oh my gosh, that's ew, Chester. Uh, any answer for that? Your best friend asks you what you would like for your birthday gift. Let's see. From the birthday celebrant. From Bob Ross. From Sauce, this is based on a lot of scientific researches. From Tyler James, my best friend would never ask <laughs> because everybody knows I hate that knowledge meant of me getting older. Oh, okay. So then when it comes to Tyler's birthday, we're not going to sing happy birthday to her because it's going to remind her that another year has been added to her birthday. Is that right, Tyler James? <laughs> I'd say, Mommy, I want V-Box, obviously. <laughs> V-Box for Chester's birthday. Get Taya a bow bag. You'll get me her how What? I don't understand that kind of language, Bob Ross. Sorry. Honest, Miss Helen. Oh, really? So, okay. So we will not ever ask Tyler James when her birthday is and we will not sing her a happy birthday because it will just remind her that another year has been added to her age, which is fine. You know, there was one time that I actually stopped counting when I was 25 years old. I didn't want to know that I'm, you know, getting older every year. I stopped at 25 <laughs> Uh, yeah, Tyler, especially that you are using Hotmail. <laughs> okay, any answer for that? Uh, birthday gift? Uh, sauce, that says it all. Hotmail. Okay. It's uh, 7.25. I got to go to the Johnny D channel. Any more answer, everybody? I have two more questions. I'm going to go if you don't have any anything, any answer anymore for the birthday gift. I don't think you like some birthday gifts. Um, you were in a karaoke bar with Johnny D. You were in a karaoke bar with Johnny D. What song will you request him to sing? 
what song will you request him to sing? So you were in a karaoke bar with Johnny D. What song will you request him to sing? I need a calculator for the previous question. <laughs> Flower of Scotland from Hawk Mode. Oh my gosh. Do you think uh, Johnny D can sing that or he was just going to murder that song? A uh, hero from Mariah Carey. Oh, there's a hero. <laughs> hero from Mariah Carey. Let's see. How about Chester? Sauce? Bob Ross? You were in a karaoke bar with Johnny D. What song will you request him to sing? Irish of the Irish. Anybody can sing Flower of Scot Scotland, even drunks. Oh, really? Hot mode. Hmm. So you don't mind your national anthem being sung uh, in the most creative way. <laughs> even drunks can even drunks can can uh, sing the flower of Scotland. Okay, sauce is thinking. Can't decide which song. <laughs> the last one before I go. You were having a beautiful dream. You were having a beautiful dream. Miss Helen was about to take you to your happy place. Your mom or your dad came to wake you up. You will say, what are you going to tell your dad or your mom? <laughs> you were having a beautiful dream. Miss Helen was about to take you to your happy place. And then your mom or your dad came to wake you up. You will say, I was dreaming about Miss Helen. Yes, in my question, yes, you are dreaming about me. I'm, to, I'm going to take you to a happy place, but your dad or your mom woke you up. So what are you going to say? From uh, the previous question, Chester, I'd ask him to sing the song of love in the bathroom for me. <laughs> There's a lot of songs from Sauce. Okay, Sauce can think of one right now. Uh, hey, Monica will be okay. Okay. Hey, Monica. I just had a banana in my pocket. <laughs> From sauce. I will send a video that will describe what will I do. Oh my gosh. Well, I'll, you're, you're going to tell your mom or your dad. What's the next one? I only have two minutes. So before I go guys and go to the Johnny D channel, I'm going to sing the birthday song for Bob Ross because it's his birthday. Happy birthday to you. Oh, I'm going to be uh, copyrighted for this. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Bob Ross. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> and now I am copyrighted for singing something that is not my original song. <laughs> That's okay. Happy, happy birthday, uh, Bob Ross. See you at 7.30 and 8 in Johnny D. Channel. Hugs and kisses from Miss Helen. Later, later, guys. From Tyler James, wake me up and you die. <laughs> Claimed by Disney. Okie dokie. See you later, alligator.